Hello and welcome to Bitcoin Smart Money. Today is August 9th, 2017. It's a little after 8 here on the East Coast. Wanted to talk about a few things, uh, any, ranging from Bitcoin, Ethereum, NEO, and then the gas for NEO, uh, which is similar in Ethereum. However, with NEO, you get paid dividends. We talked about this last episode and the episode before, but I wanted to go through it again since it's had such a strong move here over the past week. Uh, so what I want to talk about first here is Bitcoin. Some of the things I look at when I trade these these altcoins, including Bitcoin, uh, is volume on the move up. Uh, so when I see a coin move up on volume, which which we see here, so this is this middle indicator. Uh, let's let's we're going to show you that this middle indicator here. Uh, you could see when we were, you know, when we were at 2300, you know, that's about almost 3 weeks ago now, which is about a year in crypto. So let's just go back to when we had some consolidation in price, which is at this, you know, 2500 to 2800, let's say, price point. You saw volume down here, these red bars. That tells me that there's not a lot of volume being traded here on the sideways movement, which tells you that price is consolidating. And it's ready for another move. And when I look at the Bitcoin chart, I simply see higher lows. These are all eight hour bars. So there's three of these bars in a day, which gives us a good time frame to smooth things out and see how we're moving from a medium term perspective since they're eight hour bars. You know, I try not to jump in and out of trades. You know, early on, I did a lot of a lot more day trading, which I realized leads to to losses. So what I like to do is is swing trade it or buy and buy and hold and with bitcoin it's really just been a buy and hold a buy and add uh, take profit occasionally to to pay some bills whatever that may be but really the key is going to be on the moves up is it on good volume on over here uh middle of july third week of july perfect perfect volume sideways move not a lot of volume this last leg up in early august august 4th you know five days ago now I wanted to make a post, but I just got so busy with, with family and all that stuff. You know how that goes. However, let's just review. Volume on the move up. So that's really good. What we see here is we see a little crest action going on. But the sell-off this morning has not been on strong volume. You can see it's on less volume here than the moves up. It'll be interesting to see. Maybe we drop down you know, a, another 100 points or so. Consolidate in price a little bit before the next leg up to 3500 so I think that's what we're going to see here in Bitcoin. Things look good. I'm still long. I, I like to see this pullback here this morning. Uh, it touches the short-term buy. This is my short-term buy uh, signal. So it tells me that, hey, if you wanted to enter a position when it hit you know, 32.50 uh, this morning, if you had a limit order in, that had been a good place to step in. So right now, um, you know, it, we're down 100 bucks from, from the open last night. So... I'm totally happy with that. Let's move here to Ethereum. Ethereum is going to, I'm going to show you two different charts. This is going to be Ethereum against Bitcoin and then Ethereum against the dollar. It's it's real important to know which way you're going to trade it. Now, with Bitcoin being hopefully your major stay position, you want to look at it as uh, Ethereum is a nice have because it moves a little bit more than Bitcoin uh, due to its you know lower price action, more volatility, a lot more variables with ICOs and tokens and and which have you. So I, I do like Ethereum from a trading perspective, growing my Bitcoin holdings and as a speculative play and into higher ROI. It's just one of those things when when the chart goes against you, you've got to be willing to step back and move into Bitcoin and, and take some of those profits. And, and right here on Ethereum, you can see we're trading at a 0.89. I was looking at and talking about on Twitter, you know, buying this anywhere from uh, 0.079 to to 0.082, which you can see from one of, some of my sweets, uh, sweets, tweets at uh, at BTC Smart Money. You can find me. And right here, Ethereum looks looks solid on a on an eight hour window. You've got higher lows, you've got volume on the move up, which I like to see. You know, a little bit less volume here on these these lighter moves. But once again, yesterday we had a nice move up. You know, we touched, you know, some some overhead resistance, which you can see from over here. You know, we've got a lot of price action in here. Uh, so I, I think things look good for the ETH to Bitcoin trade. I'm still long that. Uh, we're going to meet some 
some definite overhead resistance before we hit 0.1. So, you know, I, I like to watch it here closely to see what happens. Uh, Ethereum against the dollar looks, looks you know, almost even better. Uh, I had a breakout. Uh, you know, we're, the trend is, is growing. You know, I'm almost in super trend. So I really like to, I like what I'm seeing here. We're above all the moving averages on an eight hour window and it looks good. It looks like uh, the path to 320 is going to continue. You know, so we've got another, uh, you know, five to 10% upside in Ethereum here before we, we have any reevaluation. On to AntShares, NEO, now NEO. I really like what I see here. We've been talking about this since it was four, five, six dollars. You know, we we hit uh, twenty one the other day. Let's see here. We're at about nineteen sixty right now. We're up eight, seven, eight percent this morning. Uh, yesterday we had some some pullback, which was other, which was some good buying opportunities because volume has been, you know, drying up because Neo had made such a strong move. You know, almost a hundred percent in a week which is just, you know, you're going to, it's going to take you. I tell, I tell my wife this all the time, it's going to take you eight, eight years in the S and P if you want those type of gains. So uh, until you step into crypto, you're not going to see you know, that type of movement here in, in international as well as United States markets. Uh, that's what I love about crypto here is the moves. You just got to be smart with the wealth preservation and, uh, you know, taking profits and, and making sure that you don't let your losing trades go against you too long. You got to have those that that discipline if you're going to be successful here in crypto. So, you know, let's go back to the let's check it out from uh, I'm going to be trading here on a 20 minute time frame just because the chart's so new. Adding from Bittrex, we're not going to have a lot of data. However, let's we'll shrink it down even a little more. You can see we made such a strong move up here the other day on August 7th. You know, Neo's had a lot of news come out, uh, you know, discussions with Chinese government. They've had some rebranding, new website, a new wallet coming out. I mean, there's just been so much going on. New Reddit, you know, a lot, lot more going on in the community. The growth has just been spectacular. And when you see the coin move from 0 0.0025 from the other day to 0 0.0058, I mean, that's just a tremendous move. Uh, I'm looking to see, to see where there's possible times to add back in. Uh, right now, I'm just going to be, you know, holding this long. It still looks good. And if you're looking at it from a long-term perspective, I think we're going to see, you know, NEO here eventually in the 30 to 40 range. Uh, you know, currently at 19. And so if you're a long-term buyer, uh, you know, buying it at 19 and you're going to be in the 30 to 40 range eventually, once again, those those gains are spectacular. Uh, I really like what I see here. Any questions on, you know, how the web wallet works or how you can claim your, your ant coins, uh, which is the get now gas, uh, please just hit me up on the DM. Look at gas this morning, and it's up, you know, forty-seven percent. I saw it yesterday at, at eight, eight bucks, and I just was blown away. Then I saw it at eight bucks, and now I'm seeing it here up another forty-seven percent. Unreal, and it, it's just awesome, you know, to get a dividend like that for, from holding a coin that is growing in value so much. Uh, I just think just great things that lie ahead uh, for Neo, and you know, some of the reasons why I think you know Neo is a, just here to stay is when you look at it from what it provides you you know it's a stronger platform than ethereum you know you can pro you can program all these different languages that microsoft enterprise is you know has backed for years uh, you've got c c sharp um, python uh, just a handful of other ones i can't even think php and you know to have that type of integration into a smart contract platform and to not be held held down by something like ethereum how they have just solidity um, it just I think the vastness f for neo uh, we're only at the beginning and precipice of where where things are gonna go uh, the last thing I want to talk about is you know one one that kind of a favorite I've had is numeri and I just I like it long term from what it provides uh, as as a play against Wall Street you know I'm big into uh, computer science and machine learning and for me numeri offers that without the emotional baggage when it comes to trading and when you take you know the masses and what are good predictions based based on data 
and you make investments based on that, I think there's a lot a lot of potential for growth. Numerai is you know one of those things. It's 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 definitely sold off tremendously. Um, it's con- you know come down from this you know point oh one five range you know all the way down to 0.008 you know with 50 percent retracement from from its high you know in uh, the second third week of july but you see those moves up you've got it on a lot of buying action the move down here not a lot of people are willing to sell the buyback here was on nice volume once again sell off not a lot of trading going on you know you've got consolidation of price this is against the usd tether it's trading anywhere from you know 22 to 30 dollars and you know right now it's made a a little move up against bitcoin uh, with bitcoin selling off but the move up you've got a big bar you've got you know decrease in in volume on this move down Uh, i think we're going to see another leg up here to 0.011 which is a nice gain and so i think that's all we're going to talk about today but i think there's a lot of potential here for return on investment other things I want to talk about in the upcoming weeks are IOTA, XEM, uh, some top, those are some top 10, top 11 uh, coins that I think you should be adding to your portfolio along with Bitcoin being the major stay. So any questions, feel free to hit me up on the DM. I'm on LinkedIn and Twitter and you can check me out at BitcoinSmartMoney.com. Thanks and have a great week.